Good day everyone, this is Sir June. Welcome to my channel. If you are just new to my channel, please do not forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and click the bell notification for more videos updates. By the way guys, please do not skip my ads. Thank you so much. So our lesson for today will be all about properties of addition. now guys shows the first property of addition and this is commutative property of addition and this states that the order of the addends does not affect the sum so even you will change the position or the order of all the addends it does not affect the sum so the key term here guys is order so, meaning to say, even you will just change the order or the position of all the addends, it will not really affect the sum. So, I have your example, 7 and 8. So, in this part, now the arrangement or the position of 7 is in the first place and the second number is the 8. So, even if you will change the position of these two, like here the side, the left, right side. So, 8 plus 7 still the sum will not really change look at this if we're going to place now the 7 8 so 7 plus 8 equals 15 so if you if you will plus also the 8 plus 7 equals 15 so meaning to say guys even you will change the position of the two numbers or the addends it will not really affect the sum i have here the second example we have here 3 and 2 so now the other side I, I changed the position so we have here 2 and 3 or 2 plus 3 so we have here as you see we have pictures below so i used apples pictures of apples to visualize the problem so we have here the first one the three apples plus two apples on the second side on the right that right side we have two apples plus three apples now guys if we're going if we're going to combine or plus the three apples plus two apples equals five apples the same thing we'll do here in the right side if we're going to plus this apples still the sum is five so meaning to say guys even you will change the order or the position of the addends it will not really affect, affect the sum so let's now proceed on the second property of addition guys we're now here now uh we're now here in the second uh property of addition so the second property is associative property of addition and it shows here that when the addends are grouped in different ways the sum remains the same so changing the grouping of the addends does not affect the sum so the key term here guys is group or grouping now if you see this uh, word it that it means that you are doing associative property of addition so that's the key term so i have your first example guys i have one two and three again guys i have three numbers here the one two and three so now guys i just want to clarify that in associative property it is just a um groupings uh, so we're now here uh, we have 1 plus 2 close parenthesis plus 3 so we group first that 1 and 2 and then the other side here we group the 2 and the 3 but again guys I want to clarify I want to emphasize with you that they are just the same position I did not change the position or their orders just the same 1 2 3 1 2 3 meaning to say here in the properties of addition uh, you will just regroup them you won't change the position of the addends so like just uh, sharing guys like for example I will give you example um, the, like for example uh, two uh, example shares uh, chocolate to number one and the other side now uh, so that there will be there will be no problem the number two need all needs also to share 
uh, it's chocolate to number three. So, meaning to say, it's a sharing. So, here, number two examples, I have two plus six plus four. Now, you group, I group first the two and the six. So, the next one here, I group the six and the four. So, if we're, if we're going to add the two plus six, the sum is eight, and then bring down the four. And if we're going to add now the second group, the six and the four, the sum is ten. Now, guys, if we're going to plus now the eight plus four, that is equal to twelve. And the other side also, if we're going to plus the two plus ten, the sum is twelve. Meaning to say, guys, even you regroup them, if still the sum will not really change. It's still the same. So twelve. So again here, just want to clarify again that associative guys, it's all about grouping. Even you regroup, even you group them uh, again to other number, uh, still the same. The sum still the same. It will not really change. Okay. Here we're now in the the third property of addition. It is identify or identity property of addition. So it states here that any number added to zero is always equal to number itself or the number so if we're going to add now any number plus zero that will always equal to the number that you are adding now uh, I have two examples here below so first picture I have five pictures of hearts uh, inside the box and I have another box here but there is no picture of hearts it has no hearts so meaning to say that is zero so if we're going to plus now four plus zero equals four so again any number added to zero is always equal to the number itself so the second example I have here how many apples on this uh, picture so if we're going to plus now we have here first plate it has two apples plus zero here because there is no apple here in this plate if we're going to plus now two plus zero equals two apples so again guys uh, identity property of addition is uh, states here that any number added by zero is always equal to the number okay so that's all for today guys thank you so much for watching i hope that you learned a lot from my video tutorial about the properties of addition keep safe and god bless